Rachel from Clipper Creek and we've got Jason here, owner and founder of Clipper Creek and he's going to let us take a look at the Tesla Model S. This one's a 2019, so let's take a look. Jason, what was happening right there? It looked like the car was literally thinking about what to do. That was the advanced autopilot, but it, it or the advanced summons, hmm. which is also how they do the advanced autopilot. Okay. It, it is actually an artificial intelligence engine that Tesla designed in-house. And so behind the glove box is a supercomputing circuit card, and on it are actually two brains for redundancy and safety. Each one is capable of driving the car and throughout the entire network worldwide of all Tesla vehicles, video is collected and is fed by teachers to teach the artificial intelligence how to drive, including how to come over here. So it looked like it was thinking yeah. because it really was. It is an AI, it's an electronic brain. Wow. Talk about technology and cars. <laughs> Pretty crazy. And this is a 2019? It's a 2019 Model S Okay. with high performance mode. Awesome. Can we see some of that high performance? Sure. Great. So the cars are so fast that just even the slightest adjustment of the pedal, even that you might be doing unconsciously, causes the passengers in the vehicle to get sick because they're like, ah. <laughs> so they created this chill mode uh, to make it uh, easier to drive smoothly. Oh. Then of course it comes with the sport mode and the ludicrous, but the really fun mode, of course, is ludicrous plus. Oh, wow. And when you select it, it's, it, you have to actually say, yes, I really want to. Or <laughs> if you're a scaredy cat, no, I want my mommy. <laughs> so what do we want? Do we want our mommy or do we oh, want to bring it on? Bring it on. All right, let's bring it on. <laughs> Okay, so one of the things about Tesla's, of course, is that they're very fast. Oh. Right, so here we are merging onto the freeway and um, we're already going 75. Wow. We're not anywhere near it, so. That was easy. It, yeah, there's nothing to it. It's quiet and smooth and very stable. So what we're going to do now is uh, demonstrate one of the most sophisticated features of any vehicle ever planet, we're going to demonstrate autopilot, and in particular, autopilot, uh, navigate on autopilot. So right now you can see, you know, the screen's all blue, and now you got to keep your hand on the steering wheel. I'm not steering, and I'm not controlling the pedals. The vehicle is totally driving, but for safety reasons, it, 
He wants to know you're awake and paying attention, so you have to have a hand on the steering wheel. And if you take your hand off the steering wheel, it knows and it'll shut off. Wow. Yeah. That's good. So, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get into more complex situations and demonstrate uh, navigate on autopilot. So we need a destination. Uh, why don't we oops, turn on this one. Why don't we go to this supercharged right here okay. that's nearby. Drive south on Interstate 8 West for another 0.7 miles. There we go. Okay. So we're on navigate on autopilot. And essentially what that means is, so if you can see, it's totally aware of the vehicles in front of us. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get behind this red truck. Now it's changing lanes. I requested a lane change. Just by flipping, by the... flipping the thing, yeah. Okay. So I've heard of autopilot, but I haven't yet heard of the autopilot with navigation. So you can, tell it where you're intending to go and it will drive the whole way there? Correct. Wow. Including taking uh, highway interchanges. And it will uh, uh, take the, here we go, it's doing this automatically. It's saying, you know, that car is driving too slow. My driver wants me to drive faster, so I'm going to speed up and it just changed lanes automatically. Wow. See that? That's amazing. So we have some oncoming traffic here, and it's uh, totally aware of the vehicles around us, and it will adapt its speed and what lane it's in based on the other vehicles around you. So Owen is actually a pretty polite driver. Oh, good. <laughs> It'll go into the fast lane, uh, and then after it gets a clear opening, it'll move into a slower lane, as long as it can drive the speed that we've set it to. So the Navigate on Autopilot, obviously, it can't work with the same configuration anywhere, especially in California. Mm -hmm. So we're on Highway 80 between Auburn and Sacramento, and people are pretty polite drivers here. Yeah. So I have my settings set to average. Okay. And it probably still worked pretty good at mild. Mm -hmm. However, if we were down in the Bay Area, we wouldn't be able to get anywhere because all the other drivers are so aggressive, mm -hmm. it would never make a move to be able to change lanes. Mm -hmm. So it has this, this special mode called Mad Max, which means it kind of drives like a jerk. <laughs> it's more aggressive. Oh. Mm -hmm. But it's something that you have control over. Okay. So um, this is the autopilot screen and it has many, many different features. One which we're using right now is auto steer. So it's steering. We are using and we're demonstrating navigate on autopilot. Uh, this means that it will react to stop, uh, stop signs and traffic lights. It displays them on the screen, and if there's a car in front of you, it will stop at a red stop light or a stop sign. And if there's a car in front of you at a stop light, it will automatically, when the lights turn green, follow the car. But if you're first at a stop light, then you have to press the lever to tell it that it's okay to go when the light turns green. Wow. Now, that's for safety. Mm -hmm. It's very important that uh, as Tesla releases uh, new advanced features of their autopilot, that they minimize accidents. Right. And so each release that we get is very conservative. Mm -hmm. The cars are actually already capable of much more sophisticated behavior, but they just won't let us use it until they're totally confident nobody's going to get in an accident. So that's just the state of affairs right at this moment, which is you have to, if you're first and it stops at a stoplight, you have to tell it to go when it's green. It asks, should I go? And then you press the lever and it goes. That's great. Now, one, you know, of course, in the future, it'll do it all totally automatically. Wow. And um, this one is to give, it's watching and when the lights turn green at a traffic light, it chimes just to be like, hey, light's green, <laughs> stop looking at your phone. That's better than that someone honking at you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. Full self-driving visualization preview. Well, that garble of words right there <laughs> is what's happening on the screen here. Mm. So 
it's you can see it knows we're on three lanes that the, the two lanes next to us are uh, dotted lanes mm -hmm. and that it can't and that's a solid lane over there so you can't go any further right mm -hmm. it can see this vehicle here that vehicle there and if the vehicle and in fact here I'll just pull over I'll tell it to this car is going slower than us mm -hmm. But I asked it to change lanes into this lane, so it slowed down and adapted to that vehicle's speed and then pulled over. See that? Oh, smooth. And then uh, the summon is the uh, mode that where autopilot is used to come to you in a parking lot. Then it has some other kinds of features. These are safety features, uh, which are pretty interesting. But if you're um, have a tendency to drive too fast, uh -huh. you can set the speed limit warning which will give you either put it on the display or it will chime so what are the orange and green uh lines i'm seeing under that so, car right this is a new feature we just got this display i think we can see it here yep you can see it here in the bigger picture mm -hmm. and uh that it has dynamic adjustable suspension that adapts the uh, ride performance to the driving conditions in real time. And uh, that, that is constantly improving. And uh, however, uh, you couldn't, you didn't have any way to visualize what it was doing in real time. And uh, in a recent software update, they created this display that lets us see whether it's going up or down basically, and how it does it independently with each wheel. Stop and go traffic can be very stressful. You have to constantly pay attention. The speed is constantly changing. People are changing lanes. Mm -hmm. um, and some people are not paying attention and you're worried about people hitting you from behind. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hit the people in front of you. Right. Ah, yeah. so this is one of the really great things that autopilot does for you is it completely reduces your stress like 90% in stop and go situations. Oh, wow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on autopilot now. It's on. And I'm just gonna sit back and let the car handle the, the traffic all on its own. It'll I don't take have, the stress for you. Uh -huh, I don't have to do anything. I mean, you gotta pay attention just in case something yeah. happens, but it's going to adapt to the vehicle in front of us. If, it, if traffic stops, like it's, almost stopping it'll stop and as soon as it starts to go again it'll go again and you can set the distance you're comfortable to the car in front of you so mm -hmm. if you see right here for example in this nice and slow stop and go traffic we're comfortable at i think three car lengths so we're at three car lengths you gotta keep your hand on the steering wheel and don't look at your phone <laughs> yeah. but i can look at you for a moment uh-huh and answer your questions <laughs> Right. And it also watches the car behind you and tries uh, to keep them from hitting you. That's great. Because that's, that's the most stressful part of driving for me is traffic. Yes. Stop and go traffic used to be horrible and now it's like uh, a chance to relax. Oh, that's great. How about that? Wow. I never would have thought that. Rachel, you're in my car. It's a brand new car. What's wrong with you? What? That wasn't me. <laughs> you too? Great. Now we're going to have to put on biohazard mode. And... Biohazard mode. So it's uh, like hospital grade filter mode that literally is so good it takes everything out of the air inside the vehicle. Including fake farts. <laughs> What about the smoke outside? Does it help with that? Yeah, we have a really smoky day from all the fire, forest fires. Mm. So um, I'm in the habit uh, when it's like that to turn on biohazard mode and it completely cleans the air in just like a minute oh. inside the vehicle That's to so medical, nice. like surgical grade or something like this. Wow. Super high tech HEPA filter that's like this big. Hey. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. And you can really tell. I bet. You know, in California, when you drive by, cattle mm. they have an aroma yes and it, you and then 
you turn on biohazard mode and you totally gone like oh, in that's so great in like a minute oh yeah it really works So here we're going to charge on a standard Clipper Creek uh, universal charging station uh, that can charge pretty much any vehicle. Uh, in order to charge your Tesla, you use the adapter that comes with the vehicle. This also lets you uh, use, uh, uh, you know, there's tens of thousands of these charging stations uh, all over. So it lets you be able to use uh, any charger, not just Tesla chargers. And so you touch it right here, opens up. Plug your adapter in. Plug in your 1772 charger and it's charging. So here we are parked and this enables um, another climate control feature that is of particular interest to people. And it's down here and um, and that is the camping mode, which allows you to have the car be all shut down except the uh, cabin conditioning system still runs so that you can keep it from freezing or wildly overheating. And it uses the main battery, uh, which will condition the cabin for a long, long time. And then you can sleep in the back of the car without overheating or getting too hot. Also, this one here, which is a favorite of everybody, is his dog mode. And, you know, if you need to leave your dogs in the car, you turn on dog mode. When you get out of the car, it'll let people know that your dogs are safe. And also, you can monitor the temperature from the app. Thanks for watching and be sure to follow Clipper Creek on our social media channels for more content like this.